I would say one hive is slightly stronger than the rest. I propped that up so they could get in and out there because they seemed like they needed a second entrance. Anyway, turkey, two week old Cooney Cooney piglets. That's Aunt Poppy. What's up, Aunt Poppy? How are you? Hey, what? What? I gave somebody a shot earlier, so we're a little, we're a little nervous. Oh. What's up, Pepper? I only see seven. Where's the other one? No? Oh. Let's see him. What's he doing? Or she. What are you doing? What are you doing over here by yourself? Pepper, how are we doing? <laughs> what? No, don't eat that. What's wrong with you? Get moving. Say it's hot. These are three gilts. That's a boy, that's a boy, that's a gilt. And there's a boy and a gilt over there. I don't know who's who. Oh. Go check everybody else out, and then I'm gonna get get you some water. All right. Stop drinking out of your mud puddle. Turkey, go catch up to everybody else. Some ducks and geese. turkeys. Goats! Come say hi once. No? They're working. Oh, that's a pig. So, I'm going to take down the electric netting fence and put up some uh, wire fence. I'm going to go do some measurements. Or not wire fence, I'm sorry, some, uh, well, yeah, like electric braided wire. So, I'm just going to stick some T-posts in the ground and a couple of, uh, a couple of poly posts like these. Run like, I don't know, three strands, four strands maybe. And we'll see how that goes.